Hey guys, Miles Peterson here, agronomist with NutriDrip. I was out in the field today, so I just figured I'd make a little video describing the process of tissue sampling in corn. Now I am sitting on the edge of a field, but you do need to be going deeper into your field, making sure you're getting that actual representation of the field. We recommend that you select two different zones in your field, like a higher yielding zone and a lower yielding or more average yielding zone. That way you can get the data from those two and you can compare and learn the differences between those two. It is also important that you're going back to the same spot every time you're taking the samples. So whether that means you drop a pin on your phone or you flag off one one thousandth of an acre, just to make sure that you know that you're going back to the same location every time you're pulling those samples so we can get that good trend line data that's accurate through the whole season. So we're sitting about R2 here in South Central Nebraska. And what that means is we're gonna be pulling the ear leaf. Now, when corn's about 12 inches tall or less, we're gonna be actually taking the whole plant. And then from then, we're gonna start taking the uppermost collared leaf. And then once it's at about tassel, that's when we're gonna start pulling this ear leaf. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull an ear leaf right now. Uh, and I'm just gonna put that in this bag. Now, should be noted, please use the paper bag, not a plastic one or something. You can get these paper bags from Next Level. They're free of charge. Uh, so please get yourself some if you're gonna be pulling samples. After you put all your leaves in here, just leave the top of this open. That'll help facilitate airflow and keep the integrity of this sample during shipping. So you're gonna be taking about 10 to 15 leaves. Uh, you just wanna make sure you have enough leaf mass in here for them to test. 10 to 15 is usually sufficient. That'll work good. If you can't get your tissue shipped off right away, be sure to put them in your refrigerator or at the very least, store them somewhere that's a cool, dark, dry area. Later in this video, I'm going to be showing how to actually log these into Next Level Ag's dashboard on their website. But other than that, that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions, please reach out. Or if you want to get started tissue sampling, reach out. We'd love to help. So now I'm going to be showing you how to actually submit your samples into the Next Level Ag dashboard after you've taken them from the field. So on the left hand side, I'm just going to select submit samples and then tissue sample. Now I'll just select field zone test. Now just select your field and your zone or zones. Uh, make sure this is correlating to what you have the bag labeled as. Now just select your sample type and your test package that you want. Right now at NutriDrip, we've been selecting this com Plant Complete Max. Uh, it gives you the mid-rib test. That's kind of a look ahead into the future, what you might be seeing from future tissue levels. Now just select your crop and the stage that it's in. Again, make sure this is what you have your bag labeled as. And then you just click add samples. And then if everything looks right, just complete. And that's all you need to do.